Right, let's go on to the uh, away from the intrigue, US data points. Okay, well, uh, there are a few points out in the US today, but I just pick, again, just pick on a couple because I think these are probably the most relevant uh, given what we're talk talking about, rate rises and, and uh, possible actions of the Fed in September. So first of all, ahead of the non-farm payrolls on Friday, we have uh, the ADP employment report for August, uh, forecast for uh, 210,000 jobs created against a prior read of 185,000. But just to sort of flag how uh, volatile and how hard this number is to call, um, last month's read of 185 was 30,000 jobs below uh, what the market was forecasting for July. Uh, so uh, read what you will into that, and it, it also isn't, as we always say, necessarily that good an indicator for what are the payrolls we, will Are be. we wishing for a big figure or a small figure? That's the other thing. And the same with the payrolls. And what are we wishing for here? Well, I, I don't think the Fed feels confident enough to raise rates in September. So to, so to my mind, I think they, they do better off to wait till December. But if it was 300 or something like oh, that, they, well, they, it, they'd have to do yes, something. Yeah, I think if it, if it came in very strong, and if the unemployment rate particularly was strong, uh, I... Uh, or rather, rather a strong decline in your unemployment rate, then I think their hand would effectively be forced. If 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 we get a middling number or something slightly less than than estimates for Friday. But if you want excitement, you're looking for towards 300. You are, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And then um, another another number that uh, that should have some influence in the Fed's decision: uh, factory orders for July. This is the month-on-month -month change forecast to come in at plus 0.9 percent, uh, down from. Uh, the, the jump over in June of plus 1.8 percent, but just to, again to 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 flag how uh, wide the opinion is on this number, estimates vary in terms of the forecast from minus 0.4 percent to plus 1.3 percent. So a big divergence of opinion there. Um, but what I would say is that this this number has been declining over the last 12 months, and I think this is the kind of figure that the Fed would like to see, you know, posting uh, consecutive gains for it to feel confident that uh, it can go ahead and raise rates.